Hey guys, it's Dreamer here, and today we are back with some more Tormentum Dark Sorrows. Um, I have a feeling we're getting really close to the end, so I'm really excited. Um, I don't know if this will be the final episode, um, but like I said, I, I think we're very close to the end. So we just entered the, I want to say it was a church of some sort. So let's go ahead and see what is in the church and how the story unfolds. Alright, so last episode we looked at all these paintings, so go watch the end of that if you want to see what they are. Did I get this one? I don't know if I got this one. A savage building. I don't know, I don't remember. No more paintings. Holy vey, so many paintings. A creature with a long snout. A, the, a painting depicting some unusual architecture. All right, let's see what this letter has to say. A crown does not a king make. A heart does a a heart does a king make. A king must have his heart open for all, giving hope for a better tomorrow. Hope is not a dream; it is the way of transforming. It is the way of transforming dreams into reality. Should the king open himself to others, the secret within the crown will open before him as well. Okay. So do we, uh... So we have two different options here. I kind of want to take this one. Oh, there's an old man here. Let's look at the paintings first. Always the painting for, paintings first. Oh, he's kind of cute but sad looking. A metal colossus holding some... some Someone in his hand. He's holding a person? I would have thought it was an object, but okay. Interesting. Some kind of ghoulish scarecrow. Interesting. A bird flying down a tunnel. Something is watching it. Wait, where's the bird? I don't really... Unless that's supposed to be a bird. Okay. Alright, fine. A beast with many eyes. A creepy landscape. Someone sitting under a tree. figure holding a sword. Oh, okay. I see. Like, that's supposed to be a head. For When I first looked at it, that kind of looked like a head, and then arms, and then, like, something, like, it was exploding out of something. But now that I really look at it, those are antlers, that's the head, those are, like, like a shoulder dress piece kind of thing, and then there's the sword. Okay. And then we've got... A massive boulder floating in the air. There are some deformed bodies on the paintings. On the painting? I don't know. That was weird. A small house on a cliff. Looks like a human head tangled in trees and rocks. Interesting. That kind of looks like the catacomb, like where the catacombs were. Kind of? Okay, maybe not, now that I really look at it. Whatever. Ignore me. Dark creatures in the woods. There's a hole. There's a painting here, too. A grotesque being. Oh, it's a kitty. Look, cat, we have unexpected visitors, and rather smart, too, wielding the power of code-breaking. Since you are already here, please tell me how is life outside the cathedral. We rarely leave the walls, you see. The village destroyed. I can see, building, the building this sanctuary ma many years ago was a wise idea. You have lost your memory and hope to regain it by awakening the statue on the hill? I am afraid you are mistaken. Most who come here seek redemption from, this, from their sins. 
Apparently, the statue attracts individuals with a deeply rooted conviction of their own evil. Are you any different? I am one of the few who have crossed the gates hidden within. The sculpture and... Uh, yeah. I am one of the few who have crossed the gates hidden within the sculpture and returned. Not many, not many believe my tales. Most believe I have gone insane. It was many, many years ago. I have paid a high price. For my recklessness, I have gone completely blind. And yet, to this day, I struggle to recreate all. I, re, I struggle to recreate in my paintings what I saw on the other side. I want them to be warnings for people like yourself. Believe me when I say nothing good will await you when you cross the other side. Nevertheless, to have the passage revealed to you, you must thrust into the statue a sword made of metal from the stars. I, bur I buried mine a long time ago. Do you remember, do you remember where I buried it, Cat? Oh yes, you weren't even born back then. What do you say, Cat? Shall we help him? If my paintings and my words do not discourage you, then I can do nothing more to stop you. I can draw you a sword design that will reveal the gates behind the sculpture. The star metal you'll s the, the star metal you'll still need to find on your own. Before I help you, however, I will ask of you a small favor. Take this, take this set of tools and restore 30 of my paintings. Holy crap, that's a lot. Time is slowly consuming them. In exchange for your efforts, I will prepare a star sword blueprint for you. Okay. Interesting. Whenever you are ready, my cat will show you the way to the paintings in need of restoration. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. Don't listen to the old fool. Why bother? The cat can talk. Why can the cat talk? I'll just show you the paintings behind which the old man hid the piece of star sword sketched. Okay. Look at the wall. I, m I marked it with my claws. Ah, there's one tiny detail. To get to the blueprint, you will need to cut the painting up, but it's no real loss. Here's a set of knives. Go ahead and use them to d the use them. The demented old man won't even notice. He's already completely blind and can hardly hear. So we get to choose whether we restore the paintings or destroy the one painting. We picked up a canvas cutting knives. Okay. As much as I like cats, I kind of want to restore the paintings. Interesting. However, for the sake of the video, and not making this for freaking ever, and making you guys sit, actually I want to restore that one, this here, just because I want to see what it looks like restored. Okay, that being done, let's go ahead and cut this open. I've already fragmented... Copy. Was that all? That's not the full sword. No. So I have to choose wisely. I would think there's no need. Okay. But is there. Oh, I see. Okay. So then it'd be this one. Oh, but that one was the cute little guy. I wasn't even paying attention. Is it one of the ones out here then?
And the question is, do we trust the cat? I don't know if we should trust the cat. Are we still... I don't know if it doesn't give us the option to restore anymore. Huh. The painter locks the cathedral door. He really values his privacy. Alright, well it looks like we're set with this decision. And there is no going back. The question is, was it the right decision? Oh... He was hiding on the roof of the blacksmith's house, but we got him anyway. Such is the fate of all traitors. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Sucks to be that guy. So, we can go to our back... Oh, wait, no, we still have to find the... metal. Yeah, we still have to find the metal. Which... I think it was supposed to be back this way somewhere. Somewhere. Hmm. This question just is where? Oh, what's this? So that explains where that goes. Okay. It fits. Now we just have to align the discs in the proper design. Oh. Uh. Oh, I see. Okay, interesting. Okay, but that one is where it needs to go, so I don't want to have to move it, but I guess I have to. Oh, no, that's not where that goes. That's not where that goes either. That goes there. I know that. Well, that's those three. Now I just need to get that. No, that doesn't go there, does it? That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. Cool. Something is merging. It's the star model. Fantastic. Now we have everything we need. Was he here before? I don't remember him being there before. Not that I'm very observant of things. But it looks like we can have our sword made, and we're just going to have to hope that uh, the blueprint we got is the correct blueprint. Bring me the metal, and I can forge the star sword. Yeah, yeah. There you go. The blacksmith devoted... De devoted... Yeah. The blacksmith devotedly begins crafting the sword. The notes I collected at the Mad Painter's Cathedral have proven very useful. Cool. It's a pretty looking sword. I've taken the sword. The blacksmith did a fine job. Does he have anything to say to us? Nope. I guess not. Divine the blade into... Divine... Di yeah. Drive the blade into the sculpture on the hill. If the stories are true, a passage should... Be revealed to you. Good luck. If the stories are true and if we collected the right blueprint. Trusted a cat. I mean, of course I trusted a cat. Why wouldn't I trust the cat, right? Alright, let's try it out. Worst case scenario, we die a horrible death. Something's happening, the sword has awakened the sculpture. Oh. Okay. So it did work. That's interesting. I feel a force lifting me upwards as my body becomes limp. That feeling, as if time has st had stopped. Or had it ever existed? I am blinded by light. I don't know what is happening to me. I felt as if my heart were being ripped to shreds. When I opened my eyes, I realized I am somewhere else completely. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. 
Oh, that background. Oh my god, I love it. I love clouds. Clouds are so pretty. Oh, I just can't get over it. That's so cool. Ignoring the foreground, totally absorbed by the background. Alright, let's take a look at the creepy people. I am pleased to see that you have made it this far. We have been waiting for you. To find the truth, you will, you will need a key. Make your choice. Choose the key of light if you consider yourself a good person with clear conscience. Choose the key of darkness if it is darkness that lies within your heart. The decision is yours. Remember the destiny we have is the destiny we are. I want to say I'm good, but I know there are bad things that I've done, but I think a majority of the things I did were good. I can't take both keys. So now what do I do? You have chosen your key. Go now and meet your destiny. Where am I going? Is there something this way? Oh, there is something this way. Hello. They seem fused to the ground, staring in horror at the many-headed beast that, that they look at. They look as if they were no more. There were there there. They look as if there were no more hope for them. I hope you are ready to know the final truth. From this point on, there is no return. Crawl deep down into the place where either good or evil shall open the door to your destiny. Oh dear. I hope I picked the right one. Crawling on my knees, I squeeze through a tunnel completely devoid of light. Under my hands, I can feel bones scattered, scattering on the slippery surface. My nostrils overwhelmed by stench of rotting flesh. The only thing I can find at the end of the tunnel is a ladder, leading further down. I have no choice but to take it. As I decide, as I descend the ladder, I notice an elevator. Interesting. Down, down, down. Further and further we go. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Huh. As I enter the elevator, I lose track of time. The ride down seems to have no end. The eternal excitement gives way to the frustration. Is this some form of punishment? Everyone I have met during my journeys has begun to return to my memory. Some of my memories are connected with regret. Were my actions always right? I will never know. The elevator continues to descend in the never-ending abyss. Slowly, I fall into the arms of M Morpheus. In my dream, I see an old man who, at the end of his life, understands the concept of hell. The wasted chance, all the opportunities we miss during our lifetime. He keeps wondering how his life would look today, had he seized all the opportunities he missed. But this cannot be done. There is no second chance. Upon the realization, he plunges into sorrow, which will last an eternity. I am overwhelmed by the paralyzing feel, fear that I might be that old man. At this moment, I wake up. The elevator has suddenly slowed its descent. I have to find the missing part. Okay. I don't see anything or anywhere I can go. Unless it's the key. It's the only thing I can think of. It's the only thing I have. It is the thing that goes there. Ooh. Pretty lady. Long have I waited for you. But you have finally succeeded in wa w wading through the remnants of your memory to find me. This place is buried deep underground, just as your memories are in the chasm of your consciousness. I assume you have many questions, as does every lost soul who enters here. You must 
you must, you might prefer to, oh, oh, we're a skull. Oh, oh, I wasn't expecting that. You might prefer to disbelieve, but your body has long since been consumed by the earth. Everything you have experienced in the castle, in, in the wastelands, in frozen tears, was, it was just a speculate. Spe spectacle, a projection of your shattered memories. A unique world created solely for the purpose of determining whether your nature of your soul can still